Hey guys, Shelby Smith with Jim and Eat Crickets here today. I'm going to give you a nice little tour of our food processing facility. So you can see where all the magic happens, where the crickets are then turned into their final product. Stick around and check it out. Here's the building from the outside. Not super big. It's about 25 by 25. And you notice we got a whole bunch of snow last night. So I got to shovel this all out and then shovel some of that. But this is the outside of the building. Our sweet Jim and Eat Cricket sign. Check it out. Next up, we'll go inside. Once we get inside here, I have my fancy processing only shoes. So anytime we have visitors come in here, we have them put little booties on their shoes so that they don't track outside contaminants in. But this is the inside of the processing facility. bit more in depth about all of the different things. Here it is. So first up, dun dun dun, the killing chambers. So these are the freezers. Just have one big chest freezer. It's almost empty. I'll have that empty in two days. We'll get those dried out. And then the second one. Full of crickets. So that's how we kill them in the freezer. Like I said, the killing chambers. Back in this corner is a really important area, probably the area that gets used the most. So we have the stove back there in the back corner. So that's where we put the crickets through their first kill step, where we boil them to make sure that we get rid of any sort of pathogens. Um, have a workbench over there. That's our, our clean drying rack. That's where all of our clean utensils are stored. That rack over there is what I use as a cooling rack. So when the crickets come out of the oven after they've been roasted, or the bars after they've been baked for a little while, they go onto that cooling rack right there, so then they can be handled. And we just use that for a whole bunch of different things. And then our awesome triple sink here. Again, this is another workhorse, kind of like the freezers. It gets used every day, wash, rinse, and sanitize. We have our hand wash sink all of those things so this corner super duper important this is where a lot of the action happens over here these might not look like much but these are our dryers so these are where our crickets are dried slow and low takes about 8 to 12 hours depending on what level you want them dried to those things very very important over here is where we make some bars and grind some powder. We use this guy right here to grind our cricket powder into a really nice fine grind. These guys, that one mixes our seasoning for our roasted crickets. That one helps to make our bars. Again, multi-purpose sort of area. Lots of things that happen in this one too. We come over here to this side. Let me step back so I can get more of it in. This shelf right here. That's all of our ingredients for things like spices. So we mix all of our own spices for our flavors. So those are some ingredients there. We have ingredients for our energy bars. So things like dried fruits, extracts, cocoa powder, all of those sort of things. There is some of our cricket powder that's ready to go, ready to go into bars. I actually need to grind some more. I usually like to have this whole shelf full. So I need to grind some more of that. And here is a whole shelf full of dry crickets. So once our crickets are dried um, and it hasn't been determined what they're gonna go into, store them on this shelf. They all have their lot numbers, so I know exactly what lot, so I can look at my records and see when they were dried and what farm that the crickets that were dried came from. So it's a food traceability thing. So I have this entire rack full of crickets, ready to go. And then you start moving down to these shelves. So this shelf right here is all inventory. So I'm working on getting some more 
bags labeled so that we can add up more of this inventory. Believe it or not, like a week ago, this entire thing was full. Um, gone through a lot of crickets lately. So much so that I have this second back rack that will also devote to inventory. Um, but right now we're running somewhat sparse on it, but we're working on it. So there's the big old inventory rack. And then this shelf is a little bit of a catch-all. It has a few things of inventory, so you can see the um, cricket powder right here. We have some bigger bags of cocoa cinnamon crickets. These are all bags that are labeled and ready to go. We just need to process some of those crickets to turn them into the finished products here. So this is all record keeping stuff. So for food safety traceability, I have to track, track every lot. So all of the ingredients that go into all of the lots. So you have your roasted cricket flavors, you have your energy bar flavors. I have a master log so I can quick reference when I made what and what day, master cleaning schedules. And there's some of our bigger bags of crickets that are stored up there. All right, guys, so that was a quick and dirty tour of, well, not dirty. This is a food processing facility. It's actually quite clean. Um, <laughs> quick tour of the workspace, of where all the magic happens for the final product. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you're interested in purchasing some of our products, please visit our website, jimandeatcrickets.com. Depending on where you are, you might be able to find a retailer where they already stock crickets on the shelves. Otherwise, you can order directly from there as long as you're in the US. International peeps, I'm working on it. Um, if you have any questions at all, please drop a comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thanks for being here, guys. Woo! <laughs>